Vinyl's Comedy Hour has become a staple on Vintage's entertainment scene. The event is testament to the growing popularity of local comedy, with many fans of the genre eagerly awaiting the next installment of the Vinyl's Comedy Hour. The show features a lineup of talented comedians who keeps, keeps the audience laughing from start to finish of the hour. Now, to give us more details on the event, is comedian and co-founder of Vinyl's Comedy Hour, Alfonso Aharop Murorwa. But uh, for the sake of our viewers and myself, I'll call you Aharop. Good evening and welcome that's, to the show. Uh, that's the name I go by for the comedy scene. Fantastic. Yeah. How are you this evening? I'm great. I'm actually very happy to be here. Yeah. Uh, stuff like that, yeah. Lovely having mm. you. Talk to us about how, you know, this uh, concept came to be, Vinyl's Comedy Hour. I think Vinyl's Comedy is one of those things, uh, it's just like the era with, we are in with social media, where everything is like always instantly happening on social media. So we used to joke a lot about on different platform stuff. Then my co-founder was like, you know what, uh, instead of just, you know, just having jokes on the timeline for free, not for free, but uh, without drinks or anything, let's look for a venue, a place where people can come together, enjoy laughter and enjoy the company of your friends and stuff like that. Yeah. And that's how Vinyls came to be, because after that we approached uh, a few places uh, to host comedy nights, our comedy hour, and then Vinyls was very receptive to that idea and we have been having a great relationship with them ever since that's why it's called now the vinyls comedy hour oh fantastic yeah. your first installment was in february so not so long ago and what was the reception like and how, how did that go it was, it was actually very great because uh, a lot of people were waiting and we had a nice sold out show for it and um it's always good to start off the year early so we can just build bigger on what was the from the previous show to the next show just like make it more entertaining for everybody else, yes. Yeah. Well, what is, you know, your idea around comedy in Namibia? Is, is it a growing space? Uh, what do you think? I think um, now it's actually growing because initially when I decided I wanted to do comedy when I started out, there were not the uh, uh, outlets out there for to display my talent and whatnot. The ones who were there, were it was COVID also, so it was shut down. Uh, it was like everybody was closed down. But then after a year or so after we started then we've been seeing a lot of shows like the old shows that i used to watch at at home back in high school let me say back in high school the free your mind show used to play on mbc six at six o'clock every wednesday mm -hmm. so that's where i love uh, namibian comedy from stand-up especially and so the free your mind shows last year there were a couple of free your mind shows uh, there was the fncc thing with um i just forgot the comedian's name also a comedy <laughs> show and then there were a few of like um, open mic events where people can come together and just like try out and stuff like that. So I'm very, we are still in the budding stages of it, mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. I feel like we're on the right path uh, right now. I think we're going to blossom into a full garden very soon. Yeah. yeah. Uh, of course, they are OG Namibian yeah. comedians. And who are some of those that you sort of look up to oh, and my think of? OGs has <laughs> to be uh, Onesmus, uh, aka Sleek. Mm -hmm. Uh, Mark uh, Karoa, sorry Mark for butchering your surname. Ariahua. Uh, yeah, I was <laughs> that one. Also, sorry, sorry. Uh, Zita. Yeah. Um, what is it? Uh, she doesn't do, I don't see her do comedy anymore, but uh, uh, see, her name is, we call her Sibs, uh, the full name, I don't know. The full I know name. Sibs, yes. Yeah. And, and a lot of others that don't do it anymore, like uh, there's a few guys that I used to watch uh, when yeah, I was yeah. the old playing, but they don't do it anymore, they probably started from me. But yeah, that's it. Fantastic. And but the main influence, comedy-wise, for us as a collective, as was the the hit uh, NBC show One Fine Day. Mm -hmm. We use like a comedy skits and yeah. stuff. That is our main source of. <laughs> that's awesome. Uh, yeah. uh, tell us. So when is the next Vinyls Comedy Hour going to be taking place? Uh, when can you know fans expect to, to see another edition? Oh yeah, the next show is actually this Thursday. Awesome. Yeah, this Thursday at uh, 8 o'clock at Vinyls, we'll have uh, Zeta is hosting. Uh, I'll be performing. Kaj, the comedian, will be performing. Uh, Wilba will be performing. And a new, new act called Andrea Shitarenu will also be performing. So mm -hmm. if you guys haven't bought any tickets, now's the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fantastic. You've now branded it Vinyls uh, Comedy Hour because of the venue that yeah, you, yeah. You know, you're know you hosting it at. So in, in the future, when it does get bigger, which we're hoping it does, mm -hmm. you know, any plans to move venue and maybe perhaps also not outside of Ventuga, not just uh, within yeah, the, the like capital? Currently, uh, for now, in the near future, we have a great thing going on with Vinyls 
so we're going to keep it advanced comedy. Mm -hmm. But we are planning to have one big show by the end of the year, or somewhere between the year. We're just still hashing out uh, logistics about that. And the main goal at the end of the day is always to expand outside of Ventu because uh, we are not Ventu natives. I, myself, and my co-founder, we are not Ventu natives, so we'd like to take it back to where we come from. And so we'd like to have a national a national type of show or national events where you can comedy right. com comedians can come through. And then, like, just young, aspiring talent to have that opportunity mm. to say, yes, uh, they, something, it's coming to my town. I don't need to travel outside of Ventu stuff like that. So Here's a platform that for is, you. But we are really hoping on the right partnership, and then we can take it. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, Aharo, thank you so much for being here today, and all the best uh, with the event on Thursday. Ah, thank you so much for having me. That's we look forward to, to having you back in the future. Yeah, right. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs> well, there you have it. The next edition of Vinyl's Comedy Hour is taking place this Thursday. So please do support our local talents, our local comedians. We're going to take a short break, and then we've got something special coming up for you in just a bit.